working, Grandad. to run now, you thieving pirate. I'm not a pirate, I'm a sand cat. No, I'm Sandy. If you're not a pirate, then why did you run off with me granddad's treasure? Treasure? What treasure? I only wanted the tasty snacks. Tasty snacks? I, uh, stashed some kelp cakes and fish biscuits in me pack for emergencies. But why did you bury them instead of just eating them? There isn't much food in this desert. You never know when you're going to find another meal. So, we sand cats bury whatever food we find, so we can come back and eat it later. Burying treasure, eh? What say we make a deal? A deal? Aye, we'll give you more tasty snacks if you lead us to where you buried the pack with me treasure. Sounds fair to me. Come on. Hold on. You don't leave any paw prints in the sand. Of course not. Sand cats have special fur on our paws. It protects us from getting burned by the hot desert sand and from sinking down into it. See? No paw prints. Hmm. That little cat looks like a tasty treat. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like a sand viper. <gasps> Stay back, you scurvy snake. Or we'll... We'll... <laughs> Are you what? Watch out! He's venomous! Leave this to me! Pesky sand cat! Can't catch me! Well, I caught some of you! <laughs> Too slow again! Ah! Oh. These cats are too much work. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. How'd you do that? Fighting off vipers is just part of being a sand cat. Otherwise, those pesky snakes would get into all of my food hiding places. Cost me one of my whiskers, though. You may be a small cat, but you're as tough as any pirate. Thanks. And you guys are almost as tough as any sand cat. Tunip! Tunip! What if that big, scary thing got him? Junip! <gasps> Looks like the Terra Gub 1 crashed all right, but there's no sign of Tunip. All of this rain made a mudslide. So the Terra Gub just slid to the bottom of this ditch. But where's Junip? Huh? Hold on. I hear something. It's coming from over there. I think it might be Tunip. Come on! Tunip! 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 <laughs> Looks like he got caught under some big rocks that came loose in that mudslide. Don't worry, Tunip. We're coming for you. We need to be careful, though, because this edge is unstable and it's been raining a lot, and that means more. <laughs> well, that's one way to make an entrance. Is everyone okay? Fine. Yep, I'm okay. <laughs> Let's get you out of there. <clears throat> We're gonna need the Cherigub One's pincers to move those big rocks away. But first, we're gonna have to dig it out of the mud. <clears throat> Just a little more digging, and we should be able to get the Cherigub moving again. What's that? I hope it's not that big, scary monster. It's no monster. It's a giant pangolin. Sorry if I scared you. I'm just looking for some food. At this time of night? I'm nocturnal. That means I sleep during the day and I'm awake at night. I live underground. Hey, you're the one who woke me up today when you fell into my burrow. You gave me a bit of a scare. Sorry to drop in on you like that. I was dodging some lightning when I tumbled in by accident. What are you all doing out here in the middle of the night? Are you nocturnal too? Nope, but our friend is stuck. I see. I can dig him out of there with these. Oh, you certainly have sharp claws. Yep, that's how I roll. Don't worry, little guy. I'll dig you out of here in no time. <laughs> 
My home! <laughs> I live here. Ha! Ah, since then! Since the weather warmed up and I headed north and I found this place and I moved in. What can I say? It's what red foxes do. Yes, yes. Only you moved into a burrow that my family built. Which is what Arctic foxes do. Oh, well, they did nice work. But too bad. <laughs> Finders keepers. No, no. You must build your own then. Out, out! But red foxes don't build dens. Oh. What? Back door. Oh. Out, out! Side door. You got a lot of them. Out, out! Oh. Yes, yes. Arctic fox dens have many, many openings. So we can escape predators and intruders like red fox. Goodbye! <sighs> and now the last door is shut shut. What now? Uh, well, the fact is, red fox fur isn't as thick as arctic fox fur, so uh, I'm gonna freeze out here. <sighs> can I stay for just one night? After that, I, I look for my own place, I promise. <sighs> fine, fine. I don't want you to freeze. You can stay for one night then. Oh, oh, wait, wait! This is the Arctic! One night can last for over a month! Is that a fact? Well, don't worry, pal. You'll hardly know I'm here. Ah. Oh, don't you ever sleep? Not much. Red foxes are nocturnal. That means we're awake at night. Yes, yes, I know what it means. Arctic foxes are also nocturnal. But this arctic fox has been working very, very hard and is very, very tired. Hey! What are you doing now? Well, I'm digging. It's an instinct. Yes, yes, I know it's natural for a fox to dig, but this den has already been dug! Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> No more digging. This could take a while. Maybe I can squeeze through that gap in the rocks. Okay, Peso. But be careful. Oh no. This looks like a dead end. Don't think I can move this rock. Whoa! I'm stronger than I thought. Oh! Oh, I suppose it was you who moved that rock, wasn't it? Mm hmm Thank you. Hi, so you're here. And this must be Kato. I'm Peso, and I'm here to help. Now hold still. <laughs> there. Is that better? Uh, yes. I think I can stand now. <sighs> That's one problem solved, but we still need to find a way out. Gemma and I could scout for another exit. Hey, where's Gemma? I'll use my wonder cam to search the caves. We'll find Gemma, I promise. Come on, Gemma. Where are you? Oh, found her! Huh? Gemma? Are you okay? Oh, hello. I'm fine. I hoped I would find a way out for everyone and prove what a good leader I could be. But I did not. <laughs> Maybe you did. Mmm, these air currents smell fresh. Must be coming from outside. Mm -hmm. The air's coming from that way. Oi! There's an opening! And I hear rushing water outside. Hey, Gemma. Looks like you found a way out after all. Assuming we can widen it. Leave that to us. This should be much easier than trying to dig through the cave-in. Elephants, form a trunk brigade. <laughs> You're leading us back to the cave? But we'll be trapped. 
Don't worry, I have a plan. <laughs> I've got a joke for you now. What has four ears, two tails, an eye patch, and a sock puppet? Our oh, dinner! What's <laughs> <laughs> that? Who cares? Run! I think that did the trick, Captain. Let's get out of here. There must be an easier meal out there somewhere. I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Betty. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.